got him. Big one. Big one. Oh, that's big. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, got him. Slab. Big one. Giant. 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 What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay, and today we have brought our canoe out here into the Cypress Tree Swamp to do some crappie fishing. Um, we came out here like a week and a half ago and didn't find anything, but um, we're not giving up hope. We know that there's some crappie to be caught out here in this area. It's just a matter of timing. You know, we have to get the weather right, the temperature has to drop, the water temp has to drop. Um, we've had a few cold nights and we're thinking that they should be on the move. So we're out here and we're gonna patrol all the woods that we can until we hopefully land on some fish. So guys, hopefully y'all are excited to join along with us on today's episode. If so, do us a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get out here and hopefully slay some slab crappie. Ready to go? I'm ready. Let's go. So as we've already mentioned, we're gonna be fishing this really dense cypress swamp today. And over the years, we found that the best way to catch crappie out of here is to present them as small little crappie plastic of some sort. This is just a little one and a half inch little crappie tube in a salt and pepper color. And then we have them suspended underneath a small float. We usually like the small ones that are unweighted because they don't make a lot of splash whenever it hits the water. And it helps keep from spooking the fish. We're fishing pretty shallow water. It's like anywhere from two to five feet deep. So we had the bobber at about two feet deep. And what the fish do, they usually suspend around these trees and they'll come up and eat the jig. And so what we're gonna be trying to do today is just try to cover as much water as we possibly can out here in this swamp, just casting these little jigs up against the trees. And then, you know, if we get bit and get a fish in the boat, then we'll spend some more time in that particular area and see if there's any more fish hanging out. But to do that, we have to catch our first fish. So we're gonna take off over that way. We've had some good luck in that area before and it's usually a good early season spot. So let's make our way over there and let's try to put some slabs in the boat. Got him. Big in. Big in. What is that? Oh, it's a crappie. It? It's a crappie. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yes, it's a crappie, guys. Not a 10 -incher. They go, oh, oh, Jason. Oh, that's a big in. That's a big in. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's not a big in. Not a big in? No. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, gosh. Pull him up, pull him up, pull him up. Oh, we're in the grass. Oh, my goodness. What a mess. That's a keeper. What a mess. Oh, my gosh. I'm in a tree. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, guys. You gotta be quiet. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at this. We just doubled up on crappie. Mine's not 10 inches, but Jay's definitely is. Definitely. This is so exciting. So exciting. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking about to lose my mind catching this crappie. I'm gonna let mine go. Let's get some water in this bucket so you can do your thing. Oh yeah. Let's do your thing, girl. Y'all oh. know what my thing is. Yeah. We gotta put them in the bucket. Yeah, baby. We're about to slam, I think. Oh my god. Holy crap. I'm so excited. Get him. Get him. Get yeah, him. Baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Yes. It's another keeper. Oh my goodness. I am so excited right now. You guys have no idea. Well, you probably you probably understand. This is so exciting. Put this one in the bucket too. Oh, it's got bit. I'm about to. Got him. Crappie on. Crappie on. They are loaded right there. Dang, it's not a big one though. I mean, he's decent sized, but he's not 10 inches long. Like I said, they gotta be 10 inches long to keep his like nine and a half. <sighs> Was not expecting this, guys. That's that four crappie. Oh, that'd be five. Five crappie. <laughs> five crappie. Jay's is another good one, isn't it? Oh, it's a slab. It's a slab. It's a slab. It's a slab. Let me see him. Heck yeah, that's a dandy. That's the biggest one so far. And I just feel like we're just barely scratching the surface of what's fixing to happen out here. 
Heck yeah. Is that number three? That's, yeah, that's number three. Let's go. In the bucket. I'm on fish on. That's a good one. <laughs> yes. Heck yeah. Oh, actually, this is. That's your first non keeper. This is my first non keeper. Got him. There we go. I think I'm finally on the board with the keeper. Get up here. Woo. Woo. There we go, guys. There is my official first keeper crappie of the afternoon. Not a monster. That's going to be 10 inches in the bucket. Oh, oh right in oh, front gosh. of you. That's a good, one. good one, Jay. That's a really good one. Okay. <laughs> Not as big as I thought he was, but it is another keeper. Oh my goodness. He made it pretty close to the boat. That was cool. I watched him eat it. That was awesome. <laughs> There we go. That's a nice one. Oh, oh, gosh. In the boat. Yes. Yeah. Yes. There's my biggest. He choked that little salt and pepper tube. Oh, Jay's throwing the chartreuse pepper. I'm throwing just the salt and pepper. And that is a nice one. That is like our favorite sized fish to keep and eat. 11 inch fish, 11 and a half inches. That was sick. Came right off these lay downs. Kind of swapped spots on them. Jay's still throwing the hole up in front of us and still getting bit. I wanted to toss it right over here. See if I can get some new fish to bite. Got some really awesome lay downs over here on my side. And I had a feeling there was gonna be one there. Sure enough, he smoked it. Oh, I had another bite. Oh, got him. Slap, big and giant, giant, oh my God. giant, <gasps> giant, Holy cow. giant, Holy cow. giant, giant. Oh yes, let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh That's the biggest. I've taken the lead spot from you, Jay. <laughs> oh, now, it's not like no two pound slab or nothing, but that is by far the biggest one we've caught out here today. That's one that gets you real excited. I know. That one's like 13 inches, pound and a half. I don't know. We need to get our scale. We don't have any of our stuff in here, really, except for a bucket and a couple crappie jigs. We were not expecting to get out here and slay no. these guys. Words cannot describe how excited Jay and I are right now. We were not expecting to catch crappie out here today. Uh, we were just, you know, come out here and do a little scouting and just see if maybe there was a chance there was one and pull up in the spot and we are literally slaying them like one after another. And I just got the biggest of the day. Really, really solid swamp slab right there. He's probably like 12 and a half inches, like a pound and a quarter or so. You know, not the two pounder that we're after out here, but there's, you know, if there's this big one here, we know there's gonna be some more of these and definitely a chance for some even bigger than that. I think this is our sixth one we've already put in the bucket. We've literally been in this spot for like 10 minutes maybe. I don't know. She's throwing a chartreuse, a little tube. I'm throwing a pearl tube and they are just smoking it one after another. And like I said earlier, I think we just barely scratched the surface on this area. He's so pretty. Isn't he beautiful? Beautiful slab, perfect eating size. We're gonna drop them in the bucket and we're, we're gonna continue casting out here and see how many more we can catch. That's so a sick. nice one. I know, let's go. We have pretty much searched this whole swamp and we have not caught any more fish. It's crazy. The last fish that was caught was the big one that Cole caught. And then after that, it was just like dead. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really know what's going on. Maybe we're out here too early or maybe they're just really good at hiding. And as you guys can see, there is an infinite amount of areas where these fish could be hiding. But I yeah. think you're more right with that. We're just out here a little bit early. Yeah. The water temp's really not cold enough for them. But with the few crappie that we did catch out here, Jay and I are like fully addicted now. We're gonna be out here pretty much every day um, trying to catch these crappie as they continue to move in. Hopefully they'll move in more. I mean, we've had some years out here where we've actually not, not caught anything. So hopefully that won't be the case this year. And we've already gotten off to a pretty good start. So let's show you guys some of the fish we got. We got some really nice ones. Yeah. Jay's got some big ones in there. I got one big one in Cole there. Cole caught the biggest. That's usually not the case whenever the two of us are in the boat together. Oh. But let's see what we got. Ooh. Let's see, how Beautiful. many are in here? I don't know, like One, seven or eight. One, two, three, four, 
five. No. Yeah, six. six. I think there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we got six. That's a good mess. Ooh, oh, some yeah. slabs. Slab, black, crappie. We didn't catch any white crappie today. No, we didn't. We usually only catch black crappie out here, <laughs> but we'll have the occasional white one show up. And they're usually really big, but those are some dandies. Heck yeah. Great. Especially this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great fish to get our crappie fishing season officially started. And those are going to be very tasty. I'm not sure what we'll do with them. Crappie tacos? Fry them up? Cook them whole? I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll figure that out, <laughs> but they're going to be tasty nonetheless. So oh, yeah. let's get them back in the bucket and let's get out of here. We got a long ways back home and we'll see you guys when we get there. We just made it back here to the house. I'm here at the fish cleaning station and I just realized that we actually have seven crappie instead of six. So that's great. I'm going to get to cleaning them up here with the electric fillet knife. Shouldn't take too long and then we'll get them ready to eat. Okay, we are ready to start cooking our fish fillets. I've got them battered up here in this bag, and I'm really excited about this batter because if you know anything about us, you know that we love a super secret ingredient called Slappy Mama. And we've got this fish fry here, and it is infused with lots and lots of Woo! Slappy Mama. So this should be really tasty. We don't have to mix it up ourselves. It should be perfectly blended. Time will tell though, we have the deep fryer here at my feet. It's all warmed up. <laughs> we need a table or something here we yeah. can cook from, but it'll work. Uh, these are some of our crappie fillets. They're all evenly battered, it looks like. This is the first time we've actually used that stuff, so hopefully it's good. I think it will be. Let's get these boys sizzling so we can eat them. Ooh. Smells good. I don't know how many that was, five or six. And then one more. Awesome. Woo. Okay, those will only no. take. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's cold out here, so that feels good actually. <laughs> Doesn't look good though. Um, those should only take like five or six minutes, and then we will be well on our way to having ourselves a delicious lunch. Okay, wow, those are looking super good. Let's pull them up out of the grease. Oh, yeah. That's the color you want to see right there. Golden brown. Let's poke them with the fork, make sure they're crispy. Oh, yeah. That's how we like it. So let's do a little transfer here without making a mess or burning ourselves. Go from here, paper towel. We did it. Man, I am so excited about that. Can't wait to try that Slappy Mama fish fry. And there it is, guys. Feast your eyes on this plate of food. How you feeling about that, Jay? Feeling hungry. Feeling really hungry. Feeling good about that, though. I'm yeah. excited. It smells good. So in case you're wondering, no, we did not cook the fried pickles and the corn nuggets and the french fries. We actually discovered we didn't have any side items in our house, so we picked those up at Chicken Express. So don't hate on us for that, because we got some really nice looking fish fillets here that we need to try mm -hmm. before they get cold, because it is very cold out here and windy. So mm -hmm. let's just go ahead and dig into those. I'll let you take the first bite of that. Oh, okay. First time trying the Slappy Mama fish seasoning. Please tell me it's impeccable. Mmm, it's fire. It's fire? Mm-hmm. It slaps? It's so good. Mmm. <laughs> Not like fire like super spicy, fire like dang good. That's mm. awesome, that's what we like to hear. Here we go, I'm going in for my first bite of the Slappy Mama fish fry. It's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's very good. It's really not that spicy. Mm -mm. I feel like whenever we make it ourselves, we like add a whole lot more sloppy mama to make it, you know, really slap hard. But that's really tasty. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about these fried pickles. I haven't had these from Chicken Express. Hopefully they're tasty. Pretty good. You say like fried pickle. It's kind of kind of salty. Yeah. Kind of salty. Maybe a little heavy on the salt, but I'll eat it. It's good. Is your corn nuggets any good? I don't know. I can't stop eating the fish. <laughs> the fish is so dang good. Yeah, you really can't beat this fish. It is so good, especially on a day like today. Um, it's really cooled off out here. The wind is blowing, and it's just nice to have some warm food in our mm -hmm. bodies. It's just, it's just great, and it's great to know that we caught this fish fresh today out from the lake. 
and uh, we're excited for what the future has in store for us out here. I mean, I feel like this is just the beginning of our crappie fishing season, and I hope we're able to go out and catch many more yes. over the next weeks or hopefully even months. But I think this is where we're going to end today's episode. We just want to say thank you so much to each and every one of y'all that tuned into this one. If y'all enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future outdoor adventures. We're Colin and Jay, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, Bye guys.